So many of us got wounds. I'm somebody who like watched their mother like deal with the crack epidemic in their home. Um, my mom's impact by the crack epidemic when I was like four. There's some teachers that really like cared about me. And some teachers are like, yo, that nigga's an animal. Like, he's really an animal. They had timeout rooms that had pads in there. One time a kid got left in the timeout room overnight. I was in the streets too. You know, I held guns too. You know, and I kicked doors in too. I sold drugs. I did all that. I shot seven times. I was three hours on the floor for the ambulance game. Mm. All my homies when I was younger are six feet under. I'm tired of seeing black and brown team getting killed by guns. I'm sick and tired of that shit. And just like, where did all this coming from? This is crazy. Being in solitary confinement for two years at a time. I've seen corruption, racism, separation, torture, all of the pain, the trauma, the suffering. It was an assault to your mental capacity to the point where your just hope is being crushed. Yeah, I spent a lot of time in prison. Um, I've been called a criminal, I've been called a drug dealer. Um, I've been called a murderer. Yeah, I've been called somebody you should throw away. Humans can easily do the most harm to someone when that someone is a thing. We built this country, but yet we were always a thing. That we were monstrous, ugly, uh, morbid creatures. And it was evident in chattel enslavement. Then it became reshaped and evident in chain gangs, and Jim Crow, and mass incarceration. I look at history, I see how European people went into like indigenous lands. People influencing us, how we should think, how we should speak, how we should dress, and they colonized the world. We weren't able to breathe. We weren't able to think. We weren't able to love. We wasn't able to be human beings. We were stripped of everything, right? Even down to our name. On so many different levels, the humanity is removed. Yo, how the fuck do I heal from this? You got mass incarceration, oppression, racism. You gotta find some type of system to grab and heal from it because if you don't, shit's really gonna fuck you up. It's gonna fuck you up bad too. Always had like these things where I'd be like, think people would be happier if I was dead or something, or people would be more comfortable, like maybe their lives would be much more like less traumatizing or less struggling if I died. I was like, at some point, I was like really suicidal. Like, and like, um, word, I, I, didn't, I didn't even want to be here. I couldn't see a future. I couldn't see, couldn't see the next day. Everybody that I know has gone through deep harm and has deep wounds that are being ignored. A lot of times, people that hurt, hurt others. That harm that we caused our neighborhood is something the same harm that's caught, that's hurting within us as well. In order for us to like work towards a more just society that we care for, to get to that more just place, we need to be healed so that we don't recreate the same injustices or the same wounds that we've experienced. We have to prioritize healing. Speaking the truths of shame, the truths of guilt, the truth of resentment, the truth of the deeply internal, the stories that we often don't face with our families, um, the experiences that we like keep at the back of our closets. This is family building, building more relationships, like embracing things that we normally want to embrace and being vulnerable. A lot of people have been through similar things as you or has some sort of trauma that you connect to. When I, when I introduce myself, I can say I'm formally incarcerated. Um, I don't have to hide. I heal like through personal stories. I heal through hearing people's personal stories. We don't do this enough, like these circles and talking about like what we've been through um, and really listening. I'm learning from y'all right now. Like y'all, y'all giving me life. The feeling you leave out is like, wow, wow. Every time that you heal, every time that you open up and share a story, every time that you build with someone, every time that we connect with the community, it leads to someone getting justice. Once you heal for yourself, like, you start to realize a different part of, like, the world, I should say. Like, it's deep. Creating multiple spaces in different places to dive into ritual. Whether it's with people who are from our hood or people who are from Columbia University, we challenge people's assumptions. That, that pushes them to be more human. 
that opens up more humanity into them, that makes them curious about other parts of themselves. It's a collective movement where we get it black, brown, brothers and sisters in a space where they can be comfortable, be free to speak their mind without being judged. Because that's what the system does to us. They separate us, divide us, but we are coming together to become one and unit. It's about a movement to change the minds, man, of a society who rejects us but know how powerful we really are. Mm -hmm. This is our truth. This is using that truth to fight for justice, to reimagine justice. Everything that we do, everything that we hold dear within all our truths is how we're gonna fight. We're trying to like create a new world. Um, and this old system has to go. We was born into a system designed to keep us behind. But knowledge is power, keep that in mind. Pay attention to the road and the signs. You gon' shine, you gon'